Um, and he'd become a proper leader. He refused to answer any questions. <laughs> so what I thought was, I'd put no, some of these questions... That's not true. Well, he was true. Come on, he's, 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 he polished that's the art... That's not true. He's polished he the art true. of not being a straight talker. I watched talker. it yesterday. Yeah, so, so well, you, me, would, you no, would have seen him no, refuse to answer the let questions me, let, about whether he'd support strikes. Let me clarify times. some of these things with you while we've got... You're a straight talker, right, Mr...? OK. You're a straight talker, no. you'd agree, right? Tell me. You're a straight talker? Just, just ask the question. Ask the question. Well, I'd, like, Come on, I'd like to... What do you want to know? My first question <laughs> is, are you a straight talker? I do my best always, of course. Yes, okay. of course I do. Good. Go okay. on, ask the question. OK. Come. Would you support an illegal strike? Would you join illegal strikers? I don't think there will be any illegal strikes. I think That the, wasn't the question. I think the, the rank and file... The that wasn't the question. No, I'll tell you the answer. Well, I'm telling you the answer. I don't think there will be, so it's a hypothetical question. I, I believe what will happen is that people on the issues around pay in particular are so angry at the moment, there'll be no prospect of illegal strikes, because I think the vast majority of their... If they want the industrial action, they'll vote for them. Let but me... you abide by the wishes of the trade unions democratically. All right, Len McCluskey has said that he is supportive of illegal yeah. strikes. So let me ask you again, a simple question. If there was an illegal strike, would you and Mr Corbyn support it? Yes or no? Well, I'm, tell I'm, tell I'm telling you, there will, I don't think there'll be any prospect of illegal strikes. I think people are so angry that the unions, if they... Union members, if they wish to strike, I think they'll have an overwhelming majority because I've been on a number of picket lines this summer, BA cabin crew, Bank of England, people who've never struck before. They're so angry about their pay that they're saying now they need a pay rise, and I agree with them. Right. I mean, you understand, though, when people are watching this... They've heard you say you're a straight talker, yeah. and now I've asked you a very simple question, and you just don't want to answer it. And you don't want to answer it because you don't want to have to no, say I'm either not. way. No, I'm answering it in the terms that I believe is the most effective way to get across to people exactly what the real issue is. And the real issue isn't do you support illegal strikes or not. The real issue is are people angry? Why are these strikes being threatened? I think they're being provoked into industrial action by the government because these pay cuts have gone on year after year over the last seven years, and you've got to understand the strength of feeling. And I'm hoping the Chancellor now in the budget will lift the pay cap and give people a decent pay rise. But there is a fundamental issue here, isn't there? You're the, you're the number two of the Labour Party. Jeremy Corbyn's the number one. You guys are running the show. I'm you're the shadow the chancellor. You are, yeah. You're the heart and soul of this party. And at the heart and soul of this new Labour Party is a great relationship with your unions, right? And they, in many ways, help get Jeremy Corbyn where he is. Here you have a, a top union leader advocating illegal strikes. Everyone is getting very exercised about this. And what they really want is clarity from the leadership about whether fundamentally, no, no. fundamentally, no. you agree with Len McCluskey well, or not that illegal are, strikes no. are you, permissible. No. Piers, Piers, you want to control the agenda for the news on your terms. I want to tell you what the real issues are. And the real issues aren't about illegal strikes or not. That's just for gloss headlines elsewhere. What we're talking about is people not having a pay rise for seven years. Nurses dependent on food banks. Have you ever had that in our history before? Never. You can tell how angry people are. So that's why they're saying if we don't get a pay rise, we'll have to consider industrial action. People don't like going on strike. You lose money. And these are some of the poorest within our community. So that's why I'm saying the real issue is why aren't these people being paid properly? And the Chancellor should address that. Okay. These issues about illegal or illegal strikes are irrelevant. The issue okay. is people's pay levels. Well, you want... We want the pay cap scrapped All and right. we want our people paid a real living okay. wage. We'll leave it there, but you've exercised your right not to answer the question. Let's can, just let the record straight. Can I straight. just ask one follow-up on that? I've are answered you, the I've... question, okay. which I think is the real issue, yeah. not one that the agenda... Well, we you the agenda answer the question, you're you answer the question you wanted to answer. That's the point. <laughs> I've answered the question that I think is the real issue, not the one right, that well, is the media answer this, answer this, this. question. <laughs> do, you, do you oppose freedom of movement under the new Brave well, New World? We've had... The, look, I've always been an advocate of the benefits of freedom of movement, but I've also explained in the, well, the referendum campaign and since then as well some of the disadvantages, particularly about the use of freedom of movement by exploitative employers to undermine wages. That's why we're saying that we'll have to come to a new agreement with our European partners about the nature of migration into this country, which protects everybody. Clive Lewis, uh, former Shadow Defence Secretary, says people who oppose freedom of movement 
a racist. Do you agree with him? No, of course I don't. I don't I'm not exactly what context uh, Clive has said that. He's a friend of mine. Uh, if in the bold statement that you've made, of course I don't. I actually do think, though, that the issues that we're confronting now have, a, have a, some complications. And what we're trying to do now is build consensus in the party on the basis of a thorough understanding of all the issues. In some ways, you know, we're having a more thorough debate now that maybe we should have had before the referendum on a number of these issues.